no fewer than 152 residents of Obigbo River State who were raided by the Nigerian Army in late October 2022 as still languishing in secret military detention, a report by two international civil groups has reviewed. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Over 150 Obibu residents from River State still languish in military detention. Reset groups demanded prosecution of Yeson Wike, the S Army Chief Brotai and others alleged collaborators. The report which noted that the adoptees were traced to different secret Nigerian army dungeons in Niger State, Jaba, Zangaru, Suleja, Bida, Kandagora, Abuja, FCT, Nasarawa, Kaduna, called for the prosecution of the former River State Governor Yetson Wike and the former Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Taku Brutai, retired, and other alleged collaborators for the crime. The report titled Inside Wike's Bloody Era in Obubo River State, and Unspeakable Account of the Nigerian Army War Grid Invention crackdown and deadly use of force was done by the International Society for Civil Liberties and the Rule of Law Intersociety and the Equich Research Institute and Organization in Chicago, the United States, a copy of which was sent to Sahara reporters on Monday. According to the Intersociety report, the Nigerian Army massacre and adoptions in Obibo lasted for 20 days from October 21st to November 10th, 2020, while placement of the area under siege lasted from October 21st, 2020 to December 2021. Shockingly, to date, not even a single perpetrator or a Ada and Abarthor including the former governor, Yeson Wike, and 12 other key perpetrators, all retired and seven senior army officers has been fished out and put on trial, either locally or internationally. The Nigerian army massacres in Nobubo, the river states, a, a densely Igbo-populated area occurred as a result of the NSAS protest across Nigeria in October 2020 and crude and deadly crackdown measures adopted by the Nigerian security force, the ENSAS protests were organized by aggrieved citizens against the atrocities conduct of the Dedred Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SAS, of the Nigerian police force, swiftly renamed SWAT and restored as SAS since 2022 in the killings and the property destructions that followed. Estimated number of deaths was put at no fewer than 400 defenseless citizens and scores of uh, police personnel and soldiers across the country, during which properties worth billions of Naira were burned down unwantedly destroyed. In River State, the South South Nigeria, Governor Yeson Wike, as he then was, took the protest personnel and turned same into a political weapon and settlement of scores with the leadership of IPOP. He not only incited security agencies, including police and army against Igbo residents in Obigo and Everons, but also politicized the mob killing of some security personnel during the NSAS protests in River State, 
as terrorists had perpetrated by IPOP. This was even when dozens of defenseless Nigerian citizens were also shot at close range and killed during the protest by soldiers and police personnel in the state and the rest of the country were not less than 400 unarmed citizens and dozens of security personnel, including soldiers and police personnel, also lost their lives. In addition to the politicization of the Obibo and SARS protests, Governor Yeson Wike, as he then was, on October 21st, 2021, declared a curfew in Obibo and Everance and invited the Nigerian army to flush out IPOP terrorists in the area who killed six soldiers and four police personnel and burned police stations. The report noted that the Nigerian army, then under the former chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Takubu Yusuf Brotai, retired, went on unspeakable execution of ethnic and religious cleansing by unleashing war-grade invention and massacre targeting defenseless residents of Obibo and Everance. In the end, no fewer than 130 defenseless residents were killed, 150 deadly injured, and 514 men and 80 women of productive age bracket adopted. Dozens, about 40, of the 80 adopted Obibo women were also alleged to have been sexually abused in military captivity. The most shocking was the fact that no fewer than 152 of the 620 adopted Obibo residents are still missing in the hands of soldiers of the Nigerian Army since late October 2022. We have also observed that the immediate past government of Nigeria under retired Major General Muhammad Buhari and the current central government headed by Bola Tinubu have continuously rewarded key perpetrators of heinous crimes and atrocities, including those frontally involved in the Obibu army massacre and abductions, who have been rewarded with key government appointments, including top military and security promotions and positions, or as key government cabinet ministers. A clear case in point was the, resident, the, the recent appointment of the former governor, Yeson Wiki of River State, a leading perpetrator in the Obibu army massacre and adoptions as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in charge of the Federal Capital Territory. It is, our, it is in our strong recommendation and firm stand that Governor Yeson Wike, in particular, should be sacked as a Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in charge of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, and he, alongside 12 other key perpetrators, declared unfit to occupy any elective or Appoint, appointive public office locally and internationally for their roles in the Obibo army massacre and abductions. The 13 key perpetrators and others at large should be placed on permanent international visa bans or restrictions by complaint Western world and other lawful countries. The victims' families are also encouraged to file torrent of civil uh, climate suit against the former River State Governor and 12 other key perpetrators, the countries of the European Union, the UK, uh, Canada, Brazil, Israel, USA, and others are called upon to take special diplomatic note for purpose of internationally blacklisting and isolating the key perpetrators generally mentioned or, li or listed in the report. So sad. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.